giving you a radical, let's give you a quick history on why the United States hasn't fought Putin in Ukraine. The treaties that were signed, you by the sea in 45. It's against the law for them to fight him. Now let's review, kids. Let's review. So in 1945, in February, the war was over long before we dropped the nuclear bombs on Japan. They met at Yalta in that part of the world. Churchill, Franklin Roosevelt, and Stalin. Stalin's homeland. Right there where he was born. They divided up the world. Russia took all of Eastern Europe. The United States got Japan. And we drew a line down the center of Germany. We split that in half. Now, Gorbachev and Reagan supposedly signed treaties to get rid of the occupation in Germany. Now, how far did they go? It's very debatable. So how far did they go? It's very debatable. So a lot of people in Eastern Europe, because I'm right there all the time, you go to Budapest in the square, there's two statues right there. Lenin facing Reagan. So the original line... Oh, it took Poland. Russia did. It took Hungary. What about, uh, no, not Austria. That's why the UN was put there in Vienna. So, NATO legally cannot fight in there. So, now it's debatable, these treaties that Reagan and Gorbachev signed, SALT 1, SALT 2, I think, but not only has Russia just thumbed their nose, but so has the United States, because they had non-proliferation contracts, getting rid of nuclear, all this goodness that was going on in the 80s and 90s. thought I can hear the war jets. What happened? What happened? 9-11. That's what happened. We turned into the mill, went off to Afghanistan. <laughs> and we went chasing Boogeyman for 20 years. And took our eye off the reality. So Yalta by the sea, legally. Now, is what treaties the United States going to honor, and which ones aren't? Are they? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. So Yalta by the sea. What happened to Reagan and Gorbachev? We come to this, we come to this. Sugar Wars, Textile Wars, Molasses Wars. This is a day that will live in infamy. Everybody should remember exactly where they were and what they were doing. Putin is taking control of the biggest nuclear energy reactor in all of Europe. Well, by the sea, there's your lecture. The 51st state is Japan. Right, kids? Right, kids? 65 degrees. Spring football. USFL's back. <laughs> Lawsuits flying all over that. Baseball's on strike again. The whole place has gone psycho. I mean, it's just greed. Imperialism. Been headed here for, you know, a good, well, 9-11. That's the date everything changed. But we were headed there for the last 20 years. You know, trickle down economics power and imperialism. It's over, kids. How far will Putin go? How far will Putin go? Vienna. Hmm. Wow. Who would have believed it? Nuclear Waterloo. Are those cooling towers? This is nuclear energy, you, the water's curse, alive and well, stand